Welcome back to DBL. It's almost game time and it'll be head to head paw to paw snout to snout action in this year's puppy bowl. Earlier Al caught up with the referee Dan Schockner to talk all things puppies. It's a DBL spotlight you don't want to miss. Puppy Bowl referee Dan Schackner is back here on DBL. Welcome back to the show. Now let's get right into it, my brother. The Puppy Bowl always features dozens of adorable, fluffy puppies, of course. And this year's no different. So if you had to pick one, this is a tough question, just one to adopt this year, who is Dan taking home? Ooh, great question. Um, this year I'm partial to because they have such great stories, the right. special needs dogs that we're featuring. We have sight impaired dogs, deaf dogs, he uh, blind dogs. We also have a dog named Jet who sadly lost both of his legs in an accident and has got two little wheels in the, to keep him going uh, in the front there. And believe it or not, this dog with just two legs and wheels was able to hold his own on the gridiron yes. with all the other dogs. So honestly, I'd be partial towards Jet and his wheels give him a little extra speed. So I'd look out for Jet in this year's Puppy Bowl, and yeah, he would be my first to adopt. Dan, now I remember you from last year because we had you on, and you absolutely killed my co-host Tori's Puppy Quiz. But this year will not be easy because, you know, I'm not Tori. It's not gonna be easy, all right? I'm, I'm asking the questions. So are okay. you Dan Shackner? I'll do my best. The K-9 Trivia Guru, ready for round two. Yeah, let's try it. Ugh, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's do it, brother. Okay. How big was the largest recorded litter of puppies? Oh, that's got to be in the 20s. I'm not sure, but it's got to be like 23. That's a good guess. Now, it says the largest ever recorded litter belongs to a mastiff named Tia, who in 2004 mothered 24. So you were close. 27. 24 puppies. I, okay, that was somewhere. close. I'm giving you that one. We're one for one. All right, so true or false? Puppies know how to manipulate us with their eyes. I would say that is true. That is I mean, true. look at this guy. I mean, uh, see, just doing that, I'm not going to be able to work today. That's how cute that puppy is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome love... to my world. Yes. Welcome to my world. What sir. a great world it must be. Now, it, they, now they're saying that is true, that, they're hu that when there are humans around, research shows that they are more likely to widen their gaze and put on what we call puppy dog eyes for yeah. our attention. And let me tell the puppies, puppy it works 100 times out of 100, so it makes sense. Final question. Everyone knows that a dog's sense of smell is much stronger than our own. But is it true or false that they can actually smell our feelings? That's a tough one. Emotional. Yeah, well, I think that there's a truth to that because I do believe some of the emotional support animals out there are trained Ooh. to sense differences in, is it hormones? that are in humans, I think they can sense the differences in hormone, hormone, hormonal changes in humans, which allows them to be emotional support animals for that, stressful events like anxiety and things like that. So yes, I would say that's true. That is a phenomenal answer. There is a reason you are the expert in this. Uh, it, you are tr it is true. Dogs can, uh, for example, smell sweat on our skin when we become afraid or stressed. So with that said, first yeah. of all, you knocked the quiz out of the park again, Dan. That's why we love having you back here. We Appreciate you chatting with us and for watching at home. So you guys do me a favor. Don't forget to catch Thank the you. puppy bowl this Friday on Animal Planet or Discovery Plus. We'll be right back. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, guys. Take care. Oh, that doggy.